What's going on guys, Junior here with Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube and Lawson's got a new truck that we're ready to show off for you. It's a 2012 Ford F-250 Super Duty Power Stroke. It's got some wide boys on it, some 33s. Let's go. All right, so he just got this thing maybe a month ago, but we're gonna get into the wheel and tire setup to begin with. Stock suspension all the way around, so it's gonna have a little bit of rubbing. Let's get in here, see what he's got, and kind of compare it to the rest of the truck. So jumping down in here, we got some 24 by 14, negative 81 offset Archon Caesars. Obviously these are chrome. They've got the chrome spike lug nuts as well. Eight lugs, so it's got the nice big center cap that you have with these. If we look at the lip on here on your 14 wide, you've got eight inches of lip all day long. Let's go, that's exactly what you wanna see on your 14 wides eight inches of lip, solid. Looks good. It's got a little bit of concavity to the face as well. You can kind of see the spokes kind of dive back just a little bit as it's going, which that'll eat up about that much of your lip, but overall super sexy looking wheel. He's got that paired with the Amp Terrain Attack MTs. These are a 33, 13 and a half R24. So there's a little bit of stretch. If you look down the side here, Lawson, you can kind of see a little bit of stretch there. You can see the edge, of the edge of the tread here and the wheel there. So just a little bit going. I wouldn't consider it super stretched as far as the setup goes, but he's definitely on rubber bands. Uh, pairing that with the stock suspension, when you look at him turning this thing, you can see up here in the front, it'll barely tap on the front of the bumper here. It doesn't actually really rub. The only way I could see it rubbing is if you're full crank in reverse and kind of just goosing it a little bit, it might kind of, the suspension might flex and kind of rub. But in the back here, it pretty much at, hits right in here at uh, a turn and a half. So you get almost full crank out of it and then it'll hit. So unless you're towing with this thing and really need to be cranking it left and right, you can do enough Y turns if you don't have a trailer hooked up to the back of this thing to make it work. So this setup on here looks super dope. Uh, you can see obviously it's a King Ranch. He makes that pretty well known. Uh, you can see the two-tone King Ranch as well. Um, we'll go over lighting, then we can show you the interior as well. He's got the cab lights up top, they're all LED. He's got LED side markers as well. LEDs in the headlights and LEDs in the fog lights. So it's really just OEM plus at this point. It's kind of crazy to see what a set of wheels and tires can do for a truck. 14 wides, 33s, stock suspension, and a couple of LEDs, and this thing is like completely transformed. You, you may have noticed he's got a little bit of work to do here. Obviously, this thing he just got, it's a starter truck, but Morimoto's got some replacement switchbacks that he's looking to go with, and if you guys are looking for stuff, they've got fog lights, they've got headlights, they've got these. Lawson's pretty much gonna become a Morimoto uh, employee at this point. And the door's locked too. 911. All right, so jumping inside on this thing, you got tan everywhere because King Ranch, baby. So you got the tan door cards, you got the brown accents with the leather everywhere. You've got the dark, like, it's like a maroonish brown, just like a, a deep, not chocolate brown. I don't know what you call it. I'm not an interior designer um, as far as the inside goes. So super sexy look. Obviously the King Ranch look itself is a very particular look because you always got the two-toned with the tan on the bottom. But looking at this thing, it's super dope. Bexy as well, you just got the bench back there, but Looks super sick, obviously goes really well with the color of this truck. I think it's a super unique color as well. Something you don't really see too much of, especially not built the way he's planning on going with it. And then that's pretty much it. So he's gonna be doing some replacement tails, replacement third brake light, replacement everything. But if you kinda, here, just come over here and look at the stance on this thing. It's beefy. So it, it sits good, it looks good, considering it's stock height with some wheels and tires slapped on it. I am 100% behind this look. Honestly, I can already, I'm calling it right now, Lawson. He's planning on lifting this thing to the moon. But when he does, he's gonna be like, you know, I really miss the stock suspension in 14 by 33 look because it's a vibe. It's a whole ass look in itself and it looks damn good. So, so if you try and look through this thing, you can not see anything besides your own goddamn reflection because he's got 5% tint all around. Uh, like you, know, you can see in broad daylight, super bright, not. <laughs> He's also tuned in delete as well, because why not? It's a diesel thing. It kind of sounds nasty also. So there you have it. I know this is a pretty quick one, really just tuned, deleted, stock suspension, wheels, tires, and some LEDs, but it's a good look, especially if you're looking for something on a budget. And obviously you can go bigger with it as well and do the similar style, but all of this, wheels, tires, suspension, lighting, you can check it all out at custommonsters.com. So we got for you, peace.